Generic greetings and welcome to the Curse of Monkey Island. Without any shadow of a doubt, the finest adventure game I have ever played. Let's just fling a dagger at the top of the board here and get this thing rolling because it's quite a long intro. So this is the third game in the Monkey Island series. We have The Secret of Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2 Lechuk's Revenge, this thing here which is The Curse of Monkey Island that came out in 1997, Escape from Monkey Island and then finally The Tales of Monkey Island which was a telltale five episode thing that came out in I believe 2009 and that's the last we've had of these things. It is... This, this game is something special for me because it's the first Monkey Island game I played. I never played the first two until years later, so I don't have any real nostalgic feelings for that. But this one, it... Yeah, it just it stuck with me, and I think it is universally accepted to be one of the better ones. And I think the main reason is simply because of this. Immediately, it um, blows up in your face. Heavily stylized clouds. Soundtrack by Michael Land that is absolutely amazing. It's very evocative. You've got obviously these very, very deep greens and turquoises and very, very vibrant colours. And all of the characters in this game are memorable. Uh, obviously, you've got uh, the completely feckless, idiotic, but ultimately lovable uh, protagonist in the form of Guybush Threepwood. We have the long suffering Elaine. We have the zombie pirate Lechuk, soon to be the uh, voodoo zombie pirate thing Lechuk, and our demonic pirate, actually, I guess. And um, what I'm going to do is shut up for a while while uh, Guybush does his little monologue and tries to explain the last two games' backstory. Captain's log Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. Not in that boat. No provisions except a half eaten corn dog. And mm. unless I find water soon. I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. He's the bad guy, by the way. I thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. <laughs> if I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> Oh, he's completely useless. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here uh, on this ocean? Anywhere. Without uh, seeing your face just one more Pirate time? fight. Am I... And... We go in. Two pirates fighting. It's... The Curse of Monkey Island. So, the thing is about this game, and in fact most of them, Essentially, it's a love triangle. It's the protagonist of Gabrus Threepwood, who is feckless, useless, idiotic, but really lovable. The long-suffering Elaine, who is very rational, very proficient, and is really just wanting to uh, get on with things, but is always getting into trouble, mainly because of Guybrush and uh, obviously the zombie pirate LeChuck, who is just the evil guy who uh, wants to marry Elaine, and you've got that you got that triangle there. But um, most of the bother that the people get in is because of Guybrush. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, in terms of the adventure game part and the game bit of it, it's um, I don't think any of them any of the any of the bits that you do are annoying. I remember the the one of the one of the most unique things about the game is you do uh, insult sword fighting, which is uh, something that can be a little bit annoying in this game, mainly because you have to uh, get to the pirates and learn their learn their insults, but you can only do that by defeating their ship and getting different cannons and stuff in this weird mini game, and it didn't entirely click, I don't think. But other than that, I think the rest of it's uh, yeah, nailed. The thing about this game is, I just... It's so evocative. It does. This feels like Monkey Island. That's really stupid to say. I know because it was you know the other games were like that. But the first two, yeah, they felt alright. When I when I, re I went back and played them again, and um, well, not again, but played them uh, with the with the special editions and the remasters, I thought that yeah, they were okay, but they didn't really evoke the feeling of the world as much as this one. I mean, look at the cutlass. Just it's stupidly sized. It's weirdly proportioned, and that's what I think is uh, special about this one. There's a lot of comparisons between this and. Uh, the um, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, and I think that's still going on. But uh, hey ho! I mean, look at them cannons. <laughs> Everything's all weirdly proportioned and stylized, and all just completely and utterly charming. Anyway, we'll rip that down, and uh, 
Well, there's the old big bad. Ooh, fire a cannon, he said, I think. And that uh, that's definitely not up to code. <laughs> Well, it's going to be even less so now that a cannonball goes into it. And we see, finally, the long-suffering Elaine. How many times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Mm. Elaine? By my Look, it even makes a triangle. Learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. He's a bit of a wordsmith, I guess. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. I mean, she's letting him down gently. And then firing cannons at him. Which, to be fair, he's a zombie pirate, so, you know, it's the least you can do. Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? Oh, he's a poet. Great. He'd probably fire a cannon as well. Yep. <laughs> you know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. Mm, don't think so. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Yeah, she's trying to let him down gently. While also Let's firing a lot of cannon at him. Instead. More cannon, more better. You're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Not really, Elaine. Tell us what you really think. <laughs> Look at the skeleton are in the you background. Riddle, you saucy female. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> ah. oh. oh, good grief. You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved. Guybrush Threepwood. Oh. There we go. Okay, I'm going to press escape because, quite honestly, that goes on for about another 10 minutes. Basically, um, we get... Our, our our ship, our dodgem car, gets hit. And we get fished out and shoved in the hole. And that's it. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, <laughs> slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Of course you could, Guybrush, of course you could. So, this is where we actually get onto the game Blast part of it. Um, I mean, look at that. How, that's just so nice to look at. Really nice. Um, obviously, it's completely stretched out proportion. Things are for you to watch it now on modern hardware. Modern hardware, it's just, it was built for, what, 800 by 600 rather than the resolution we're trying to run it at now. So, um, instead of using your... Uh, the, the action bar of um, look at, use, move, things like that. You can just click and move around and also click and hold on anything. When the cross goes red and it shows um, word down the bottom there, so cannonballs, ramrod, keyhole, you can click and hold and you have the option to either grab it, look at it, or talk to it. I'm going to talk to the keyhole. If there are any of you stinking wretched fiends of the damned in there, could you open this door? It's not that I'm trying to escape or anything. It's just that I'd like to step outside and enjoy an adult beverage. <laughs> so, we have um, a small pirate here with a cannon that apparently doesn't need reloading, but that's the least of the problems around here. What I'm going to do is grab the, see, this ramrod because we need to store it for later. And, um, <laughs> yeah, of course it fits in there, because why not? That's just the rules of the uh, of the world. We've got some cannonballs. Let's have a look at those. Nice cannonballs. Hmm, apparently they're good cannonballs. Let's have a talk with this uh, pirate here who we know is Wally. Actually, should we just use... Push small pirate. If I rough him up, he may shoot me. Mm. Let's, see if you can take Let's have a this. chat with him. Ooh, oh, hold well there, fella. So, uh, what shall I say? Ah, uh, hello. Please don't kill me. Uh, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose, <laughs> the wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Hmm. Uh, so, are you wearing a fake beard? Is that hook real? Is that a real eye patch? Can I borrow your cannon for a second? Um, I'm gonna say, is that a fake beard? Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. <laughs> yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave <laughs> made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. Ugh. I'm hoping it'll take root. If I don't wash it for a while. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally, Just got off my beverage. Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, today's beverage is grog. Oh, and rum. Hello, it's Mr. a cup Wood. of tea. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. 
but thanks to the Chuck seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become <laughs> audio books on Parrot. Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Oh, good grief. Um. Yeah, so this is Wally, who we've known from the previous series. Well, if you played the previous series, I guess. So I'm going to say, um, tell me more. Tell me more. Here. Oh, leaflets. The creature. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Um, uh, I mean, we'll say about what, what about the audio books on pirates? Tell me about these audio books. To become a pirate, the audio books on parrot are the key. You get a set of twelve parrots, <laughs> one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. It's completely self-aware. There's a quote later on where um, something iffy is happening and you go, he goes, hmm, must be that uh, that uh, dodgy 17th century wiring. Like, as if that would be a thing. Uh, I'm going to say I'm not, not in the mood for sales uh, hype. I want to get over here. Hype. So, um, I'm going to say... Snap out of it, Wally. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you. Oh, that's blood nose, man. Um, you're a failure as a pirate. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. What? You're gonna shoot in between my legs? Okay, peep. peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Word. Word. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, I can't do Aww. it. I just can't. I feel a bit guilty now. <laughs> I'm sure that'll pass. You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even. I'm not even unpleasant. Poor Wally. No. Oh. Oh. oh, there, there. I feel kind of bad for Wally now, but I'm going to pick up his plastic hook. I'm going to talk to him. I don't want to slap the little guy around. Actually, yeah, that's pushed. Uh, that's the wrong button. Talk. I don't want to disturb him. He's had a hard day. He has had a hard day. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> when the cross goes red, you can activate stuff um, and use the action thing on it. Um, if it goes, if it has an arrow, you can uh, sort of peep around the corner and. Huh. Can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Okay, well, what's about the portal? There's a strange glow coming from that portal. The thing about the game, and well, all adventure games, is that if you just blast through it, if you know what to do, then you're missing half the point. You know, um, most of the dialogue in this you will just miss if you just blast through the game and get it done. I think back in the day, I could uh, complete it in about a couple of hours. Um, if need be. That's missing the point. Uh, I wonder if we can use the cannon. Actually, we, we can use the cannon because we have to start blasting boats. And, oh, minigame. Right. Um, so, let's just start. Um, whoopsie. Oh, well, that's a bit of a shame. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, uh, uh, fire. Oh, whoops. That may have hit our fort. <laughs> Uh, up a bit. Fire. There we go. Not yours, apparently. Oh. <laughs> yeah, gonna get all killed again, you skeleton pirates. Zombie pirates. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Hmm. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. Ugh. <laughs> so, we are about to meet. The best character in the series. Murray! Uh, can I call you Bob? I don't know whether or not... When did the Dresden Files book come out? Because there's a, there's, a, there's a skull in the Dresden Files series called Bob. Technically, it's the... Spirit of intellect inside it, but whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a skull called Bob, and I'm gonna say Can I that. Call you Bob? 
You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? <laughs> oh, the definition of um, stunted evil. So, uh, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. You, know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, no I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Um, eek, ah, or ooh. Um, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh gets me every time. Oh, uh, why do you villains always laugh so much? Why do you villains always laugh so much? <laughs> wasn't laughing about anything in particular. Somewhere there's a fish nibbling on my foot and it really tickles. <laughs> um, fearsome as a doorstop. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. <laughs> um, how can you see without eyeballs? I know the reply is how can you walk around without a brain? Some things will never know. How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. Oh, close. I got it close. <laughs> um, at least you don't have to worry about what you wear. Now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. And accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. <laughs> and I look good in hats. There you go. <laughs> uh, was your mother father bald? Was your mother's father bald too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. I'm going now. Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> <laughs> he will turn up throughout this game and the subsequent ones. And yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's hilarious when he does. So you can right click to open up your um, inventory. It's in a big pirate chest. We're going to use this ramrod to actually what we'll do. We should really combine those two. So we're going to combine this uh the ram with the uh, Wally's yeah, plastic hook to uh, pick up a hand, which is uh, <laughs> why have we got arm hey, bands on? Arm. That back. Hmm. Ah, uh, sorry, Murray. Uh, four. <laughs> and you would think that'd be the end of him. Nope. <laughs> so every time we use this cannon, it uh, gets you know. Uh, held by the restraining rope. So what we'll do is we'll hit it with a cutlass, or rather cut it with a cutlass, because that's what it's used for. <laughs> that and you know, cold steel, zombie rope. pirate stuff. Okay, I wonder if um, pulling the cord on this cannon is a good idea. Uh, probably not, but now, um, ah. With the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball. I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. Yeah, like that's going to work. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and he drops the cannonball. <laughs> Neptune's navel. That was a close one. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> and that's what's left of the joke. Ish. Until he comes back on fire. Spider alert. And, um, yeah. Ship rolling upside downy. And we're still on board because we can't die. Because it's a LucasArts adventure game. Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. So, a lot of pirate. Uh, portrait of the Chuck. Bo big box of chocolates. Teddy bear with a cutlass in it. Um, champagne bottle. Um, the Chuck's unused comb. Let's pick that up. I think LeChuck needs it more than I do. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Uh, glory. <laughs> uh, a flotation device? Yeah, no we'll pick that up. self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. He's like a unicorn. It got broken when the ship capsized. I'll pick this bag up because... It's a bag of wooden nickels. Wooden nickels. Treasure. But... Hey, there's Ooh. a big diamond ring behind this bag. It's big. a diamond ring. So, we pick up the diamond ring. We've got bag of, bag of um, nickels. How do we get out? Well, we'll use the ladder. Is that going to work? Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. We can get out the gaping hole there. Eh? No, if only 
I could find a way to get up there and get out. Well, what else? Home appliances. A beautiful high capacity washer and dryer combination. <laughs> of course it is, of course it is. Chocolate covered barnacles, marshmallow hooks, sea urchins, glass eyes. Ugh. Yeah, not a fan of that one. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's use the ring and cut a hole in the glass. <laughs> Typical guy brush. But, what self respecting pirate would. Yeah, oh, it would be him, wouldn't it? <laughs> and finally, guy we brush? make it back. Guy brush! I thought I'd lost you for. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, <laughs> a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. Wow. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads Brush, me. stop babbling. <laughs> Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Ooh. Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? Oh, I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. Oh. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. <laughs> anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. <laughs> Guybrush! Uh... And this is a lot of the story. Just... Guybrush is always getting Elaine into trouble. <laughs> so, the curse gets worse. Oh no, Elaine? Well, she's not going to be happy about this. No, I don't think she is. So, she's currently made of gold. It's Elaine. I've got to change her back somehow. Um, we will... Can we... Can we... Mm, we can't do anything there. Uh, I'll see if I can move her. She's made of gold. She must weigh a ton. Uh, no offense. Hmm. Hey, I wonder how many carrots she... No, no, bad idea. Okay, so, four in the background, uh, broken bridge, uh, glowing ember. And we've also got chickens, and I don't know why, they're very special chickens. It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. <laughs> Plunder Island Feral Chicken. One of Plunder Island's most common fauna and the animal for which our capital of Puerto Pollo is named. Hmm. So, uh, the main objective, I guess, is to, um, well, make Elaine not into gold anymore. Uh, so we'll uh, have a have a wander off here to, uh, I believe, the voodoo place, if memory serves. Well, it's foggy and there's like a weird totem thing there. Ah, no, we get to go around the island. So we've got uh, Porto Poyo, we've got ship back there, which we can't get to yet, and all sorts of different places. Oh, and um, the cabana there. Let's go to uh, this place, because we meet Murray again. Ah, good. It's always good chatting with Murray. Look at Murray, look. Oh, it looks like it was thrown here by a typhoon. Hmm. Boom. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, it's just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited. revisited. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. <laughs> Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back. <laughs> Darkness will envelop you. <laughs> he gets more evil. Like, generic evil as it goes on as well. Like, almost cliche Dr. Evil style. How'd you get up there? You get all the way up there. Through sheer force of will. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right, it was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. Hmm. Uh... I love staying in chat, but I gotta I go. I love staying in chat, but uh, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, I just wanna... I mean, 
the thing is, I don't want to spoil too much because I, I would really, I would love to you to play this game. But as I said, getting all of it for any reasonable price is annoying as hell. But um, it is a story-driven game. Obviously, it's about just going throughout your leisure, trying the uh, different bits of it. But what I think just just looking at bits like this, it does look very pretty even now. I mean, obviously, it's getting a bit old, but just the art um, so evocative of the world just sort of makes it. Um, this is, oh, that's, um, that's Small Pirate, that's Kenny, actually, who's selling lemonade, and then, uh, he branches out into cannons because, well, why wouldn't he? We've got, uh, the chicken salesman here who sells, um, fried chicken, and we've got a, I think we've got a drive through oh yeah, walk-through speaker, and we also have, if we go into the town square, I believe this clock tells the time, hang on, is it the real time? Good morning, at the town, Caribbean standard time will be 11, 13, Yep, and it actually tells you your PC seconds. time, very the clever. <laughs> and some other fine characters are in the Barbary Coast, which um, I think it's currently closed. Uh, this is where we've got the uh, the caber tossing bit, where we have to, well, do that. And we've got the cabana here, which is uh, like a, it's like an exclusive beach. But let's go in the swamp. And, hmm. <laughs> Deco, not great. So, who are you, and how did you appear like that? Who are you, and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my doors. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. <laughs> I am a voodoo priestess. Neat. Very You're cool. You're an autumn, by the way. So, um, don't I know you from somewhere? Don't I know you from somewhere? We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we going to do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. <laughs> no, I'll make this quick. I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo antiroot. I'm starting to remember. Mm -hmm. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. Um, you yeah. You so much and I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> hey, Sick are you burn. making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. So, boy, I've got some stories boy, to tell you. I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Y yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. I have to go. But I've got to tell you about LeChuck and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light. Cover your eyes. <laughs> no, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. <laughs> okay, okay, no stories. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. <laughs> They're Constantly. adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Uh, so we've got no, no, please no, for the love of all good and holy, no. Um, Perhaps later. <laughs> yes, oh, well, no fair enough. For that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Yeah, it's suboptimal. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so terrible. And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. <laughs> yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. Mm -hmm. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Uh-oh. Uh... Hide her? You didn't hide her? 
She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. Ah. Elaine! Well, there's a pirate ship going around the Got corner. To get her back. This is so embarrassing. Looks like I'm going to need some more help. So, we need more help. Oh. Someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Hmm. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No. LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great. Tell me. You Big have diamond. To replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. <laughs> so, need to get huge diamond ring, but not cursed this time. Find a huge uncursed diamond ring. Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. That sounds a nice place. I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Oh, that's not good. Um, die? Die? Did, did you say die? As in me, dead. Don't be such a baby. Isn't there a less dangerous way? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. <laughs> Okay, so Blood Island, here we come. Blood Island, here I come. So thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Gotta go. Gotta go. So we have lost a lane um, because we are stupid, um, and we will go and see if what the plaque says. So we lost a lane. We know that she's been stolen by pirates in the Mangy Cove. Or is it mangy pirates in the cove? Could be either way. Could be both. Who knows? Uh, and we have to put a, a we have to put a crew together because you know that's the plot of a lot of things these days. Uh, let's see what the plaque Untitled reads. composition in gold and diamond. This newest addition to our public works of art was shamefully taken without authorization. <laughs> so they put a plaque up and then it was um, the thing was nicked straight away. Good grief! Uh, can we pick up the ember? Yes, we can. Yeah, we'll just keep that in our pockets because why not? So. Um, if we double click on the red, by the way, it, it said walk in there, it takes you like that. So we got the swamp there, and. Don't know why I really like the music as well. So we got um, a couple of places to go. We've got. Oh, the, oh, the Barbary Coast! To the Barbary Coast! Nice. Where every haircut is an adventure. Hey, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Mm -hmm. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term. Buccaneer hairstylists. <laughs> Great. Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond mm. ring? Just, just talk yeah, about a diamond ring. Enormous, and it's While in island. front of the... Blood Island? Oh, Never God. He's telling it. everybody what it is. It's a, a funny idiot. story, really. I needed to lift this curse. It's turned my girlfriend <laughs> into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? <laughs> Wait a second. Did I just share too much? <laughs> Good old guy brush. Anyway, I don't think I really want to um, show you any more of uh, this game. Needless to say, I am well and truly um, blinded by it. It could be garbage. You could be watching this and go, you know what? Why, why do you like it so much? Well, I hope I've ex tried to explain why at least. You know, it's just playing it back in the day. It was. I don't know. I don't know if you would call it technically brilliant, but it was. Um, it, you know, it looked and sounded amazing, and it just had a really, really good feeling to it. Um, playing it now, yeah, I, I still think that it's it's got that. It really does. 
I don't know if I would like to see a remaster of this. The first couple of games, they did a, the sort of HD remaster thing, and I thought they were quite good. Um, I would be, I would nice to see this being released at some point, anyway, because this this and the, the fourth game, Escape, for whatever reason, haven't been released. You can get the first and second as a as a remaster, and then the uh, the fifth, the Tales of Island as well. You can get all those, but for whatever reason, these two just are lost in the ether, and I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I still think it's fantastic. I play it once every couple of years after this video now i'm going to be playing it some more it's obviously one of those things like like all adventure games you know you just have to you have to be happy just being in the world and playing like you know trying different things if you just know you can call it one and done you play it once you know how to complete it again but uh i'm still going through bits now and like things like mysterious door i don't even know what that does apparently it takes you all the way to the left, does it? Yes, it does. I never knew that. 21 years since the game was released, and I didn't realise that that was a thing. So, yeah, <laughs> I will be... Uh, yeah, if you just you try different things, you'll, you'll see new stuff, I guess. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. That's been a bit of Curse of Monkey Island, as I said. One of the finest adventure games I've played, if not the... I There's a special place for um, this game, The Dig, and Full Throttle, because I played them all around the same time. Toonstruck as well, I thought was uh, good, and I have featured that on the channel before. Either way, uh, links to the uh, wiki page, because I can't put an actual proper store page, and you can read up on yourself if you really want to. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. Good old guy, Brush. Completely and utterly useless. <laughs>